I've got with me Paul Sennett today, and, and uh, he's got his whole pack set up here, and I thought we'd, we'd go ahead and have him show us what what is in your pack. What did you bring, and is this kind of the normal... Is this kind of the normal setup? It's you my think? normal setup, especially if I'm gonna you know walk in somewhere. If it right. is a, an event where I might you know drive, I might have a, have a cooler. But that sure. is kind of typically the sure. only. And you pack in a lot to, to yes. a lot of events. Yes. Right. So you just like yes, this is everything you could bring on your back. I'll step out and let you tear this down and and show us what you got. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. So when I'm wearing everything, I've got my powder horn shot pouch. Comes across and rests underneath my uh, my right armpit here. I'd be carrying my rifle and then on my back is my knapsack and then on top of my knapsack is going to be my bedroll and this tump line actually goes around over my head and then I'll tuck it underneath my arms as well that way the weight of the bedroll rides on top of the, the knapsack. As far as the bedroll I just got it secured a simple piece of hemp cordage And then you can see where the tump line was. It's kind of rolled up inside of the bedroll itself. And on the outside of my bedroll, I've got this piece of oil skin cloth. And it's folded into thirds. It's sewn down there at the bottom. And I've got just these two ties down here. That way it, it kind of keeps me secure. It forms like a little bit of an envelope. That way I don't kick out of my, my bedroll or kick out of my, my blankets. I do the same thing for my blanket itself. The bottom of it is sewed across and then the excess is folded up underneath to give my feet a little bit of extra protection, a little uh, barrier from the ground to, to help keep them warm. Uh, inside here, I keep a pair of thigh-high wool socks, nice and big, nice and warm, and then a wool shirt as well. Uh, these shirt, or, uh, this shirt and these socks are strictly for sleeping. Once I you know, go to go to bed, I'll put them on. Then once I wake up and kind of warm up a little bit, I'll take them off and I pack them back in my, my bedroll. That way I always have a nice, clean, dry, warm shirt and pair of socks to sleep in. The outermost thing is a match coat size blanket. Keep this kind of easily accessible. I've got a, a piece of leather and then a piece of rope around there. Uh, I could tie that to my waist if I was going to go for a hunt. That way once I get to where I'm going to be hunting from, I can sit on that or wrap myself up in it. Uh, likewise, I also have a, a brooch at the corner of the match coat so I can wrap it around myself, secure the top with the brooch, and then use the piece of leather to wrap it around my waist and actually wear it as a match coat. Getting into the uh, knapsack itself, got a tin cup. Got a pewter plate, and then I've got my utensils for eating, a spoon and a fork. Keep my canteen in here. I don't typically carry my canteen across my body. It, it tends to kind of clang and bang around, I think, so I prefer to always kind of keep it in my knapsack, always making sure it's kind of standing up uh, straight. That way it doesn't leak all over anything or get anything wet. Got my fire kit. I always keep a a roll of or a bundle of tinder in here keep a, a candle or two and then my my actual flint and steel my fire making kit and it's all in this kind of a, a you know waterproof bag using an 18th century uh, a waterproofing recipe help keep everything in there dry and i have for this particular season it's getting to be cold so i have another uh, shirt this one's lindsay woolsey and then i have my hat, a set of gloves, and a uh, wool scarf as well. I'll typically just carry these during the uh, kind of fall and winter months. This is my food wallet. Um, carry just a variety of things in here. Uh, everything from, from jerky uh, to nuts, berries, things like that. Uh, I've got cheese, some other odds and ends in there, but again, uh, this is where all my food will go. When this is completely full, it's kind of enough to typically sustain me for you know a couple days at a time. I can carry enough food, and again, it kind of fits nice and neat down in my, my knapsack. Sewing kit, all 
a small pair of scissors, a couple pieces of leather to do patchwork on moccasins or, or leggings, some needles, a couple different types of threads. And then this is my, my extra shooting things, our shooting supplies. I'll have my uh, bag mold in here, my lead ladle, some extra piece of lead, extra flints, extra toe, strips of linen. And this last pouch is kind of a, a hygiene kit. Uh, and I'll also keep uh, a small kind of modern first aid kit in case anybody gets hurt or I cut myself or, or anything like that. But again, it's all kind of anything modern. Uh, I'll put my phone in there as well to kind of keep everything secure and uh, keep everything out of sight and, and hidden. And that is the contents of my knapsack. Everything I typically carry with me. Uh, occasionally I'll put a small kind of trade size pot in there. Uh, with this particular camp, I, I uh, carried in a, a two or three gallon kind of large kettle uh, that we're using right now over the fire to cook up some food. Uh, but typically if I'm using that, I'm gonna hand carry that up to camp. Or like I said, if I was walking in, I keep a small uh, size trade kettle that also fits nicely in the knapsack. Paul, you got, seems like the perfect kit. You can walk in, you got everything you need and basically nothing you don't need. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much for Thank sharing. You, John. Appreciate it. Sharing this uh, kit with you, with us here. Uh, boy, I wish everybody could have a cool <laughs> kit like that. Yeah. It's always, it's you know, it's always weight and space is yeah. what it comes down to. Right. And then, you know, of course, being period correct as well. But uh, yeah. yeah, if you don't take something, you might have a lighter, easier time walking in, but you might miss that extra wool shirt you know once you get to camp so it's always kind of a uh, trying to decide what exactly you do need and what you leave behind what you don't need thank you paul and thank you guys for watching